Hi, this is Otto Trunk. Flat's Calm Reflection is an oil painting that took weeks to do. It was begun with a detailed drawing, and then it took a while to block in the big shapes and cover all the weight of the canvas. I started with the blue sky, but worked all over the canvas, doing different buildings, large shapes in the water, and I then painted the foliage and the shape around the building. The basic shapes of boats was also painted in early. Eventually enough painting was done in the water so that you could see where water was deep or shallow, whether there was a sandy bottom, rocky or coral on the bottom. Water has a shiny surface, so reflections can also be seen on the water surface. Boats, buildings, the trees and the hills, and the sky all reflect on the surface so it can be tricky showing both the water's transparency and its reflective qualities. Part of doing a detailed painting like this is making everything work together in harmony. Objects have to appear to be the right distance away from them. The buildings in the hill in the background must appear to be further back than boats that are close to the front. Water must also look like it is a flat surface with the smooth ripples of a calm day. After all the objects have been painted in, a lot of time is spent making sure that all these differences work. You have to spend time stepping back and looking at your work. When you start a new day, you have to look at your work and look and see what you're going to tackle each new day. Often you will have problems that you didn't see the day before. And when you stop, that is a big decision. I thought I had to finish this painting a few times. You will see that I actually do some painting that's done on something that I thought was finished. And you can see how I did some small subtle differences right at the end. And every day it was a process like that, except at the end it was just the finishing touches. The time lapse makes it look as if I did everything really fast, but this is weeks of work compressed into about three minutes. So there was a lot of decision making going on while this painting process took place. I hope that by the end you do get a chance to see why I actually call this painting Flat's Calm Reflections. I thought I was finished here, but I continued to go on. I'm getting close to the end. Um, I think I need to just make that a little lighter. This seems to jump out a bit. And down in here, it seems like I need to work on making that smoother so that the water just sort of flows back flatter. So I'm just gonna make some adjustments there. So I'm just gonna tune down this blue buoy here a little bit and I might not mix the exact color I might even just sort of glaze over it a little bit and try to just bring it down that way Have a look. Yeah, I don't think that jumps out as much as it was before. It's just been softened a little bit. Might work on the edge of the this area here a little bit. Yeah. 
you can see it's very, just very subtle. Yes, yeah, so you should be able to see how that this has been softened up a bit. Just soften that edge. I think I finally finished this painting. I had to smooth out a lot of the areas in here so that the water looked like it went back. And I think I've done about as much as I can. So now you can enjoy Glenn's Calm Reflections. A painting with boats, buildings, foliage, and reflections. Thank you for watching. Bye.